Apologies make lousy parachutes. All right, welcome to Lone Garage. As always, I am your host, Lone Wolfer. And we're in the garage today because I am uh, working on a new project, a project involving green screens. And what I actually want to accomplish with this here green screen is creating a whole new segment from my garage. And I want to call that one of two things, either dispatches from the garage or dispatches from the Lone Wolfer garage. I haven't quite made my mind up. Today we're gonna to go with just dispatches from the garage. And for the inaugural dispatch from the garage, I actually wanna bring you a review of a product that I've been using for about two years now. One of my favorite pastimes is camping, uh, whether it's car camping or it's motorcycle camping or backpacking, things like that. I love going out in nature. I love spending the night outside I don't get to do it enough. I'm really hoping next year that I'm gonna be able to do it a whole lot more, but who knows, only time will tell. But there is one thing that we always need at a campsite, and that is light. One of the easiest ways to do that is to wear a headlamp. I, however, am not a fan of a traditional headlamp. I don't like having the band around my head or the ones that have the thing go over the head. You know, I prefer to have on a baseball cap. That's what I prefer to wear. And after years of wearing a headlamp and having it like press into my forehead and dig into above my ears and just be annoying, I went looking for an alternative product, a solution that would let me wear my hat and have a headlamp. And I found that in this product here, the Claris HC3. There are a bunch of different versions of this from other companies. I was actually at Home Depot and in the you know, line to, to check out in the impulse aisle, I actually saw something like this. And what this is, is it's a light that fixes on to your brim. This is adjustable so that you can actually point it down if you need to, so you're not looking directly into someone's eyes with the light. Because isn't that also one of the most annoying things? Like you're out hiking with somebody or camping with someone, and then they've got their headlamp on and then they just look directly in your eyes and you're just like, what the fuck? This particular product has a two button function. The first one actually turns the light on. I'm gonna point it down so it's not directly at you guys. Turns it on and off if you wait a moment after turning it on. If you press it and hit it again immediately, it gets brighter. Hit it again another time, it gets a little dimmer. And then we go to red. Oh, and then we go to flashing. I like this red one for when I'm inside my tent and I just kind of want to like relax for a few minutes before going to bed and not look at my phone anymore or not read a book or just, just sit there and decompress for a few minutes before I go to sleep. And then lights out, it's great. And as you can see, this top button here is what turns it on and off and lets us cycle through the actual functions. So this button right here is actually kind of nifty. When you press this and move in front of it, it turns it on and off. I actually haven't used this function very much. Um, just hasn't been something I've needed. It could be very useful for a lot of you out there though. So right here, you're gonna see a little light bar with four dots. When you turn it on, it's gonna tell you how much battery life you have left. Right now I'm at three dots. Um, I have not charged this in probably four months. It's, it's what, October? So June, July, August, September, now to almost five months. I haven't charged this in five months. I've used it sparingly in that time, just for maybe like 20, 30 minutes at night when I need to use it when I'm out camping, but not very often. So this holds a charge for a very long time. I am not sure how long it would actually last if you're just running it for like hours and hours and hours. Um, I've never had a need for that. Just, just never had a need for it, so I don't know. There's a lot more information on the Amazon site, a lot of other reviews. The company Claris that makes this has a couple versions. Um, this one comes in a couple different colors. Um, I just chose the most basic, like gray, I think. If you're a stickler for lumens, there is one above this that uh, has a higher lumen rating. So if you want more light or you're just a stickler for the numbers, there's another version. You can grab that one. I don't know what they are because it doesn't really matter to me personally. Um, as long as it's bright enough for me to see, I'm good. Now the interesting thing about this one is that it actually does come with a headband. 
So there are slots here that fit onto that. And you can put this over your head like a traditional headlamp. However, I have never used it like that. Not once. So over the last two years, I have been putting this sucker through its paces. I have had great results. I'm going to put the Amazon link down below so that you can go and learn more about it. If you're a stickler for the numbers, it has the lumen ratings for every setting. Uh, it also has a link on there for uh, Claris's shop on Amazon so you can find the version that's actually got more lumens than this one. This one has performed wonderfully for me. Uh, I even use this sometimes when I'm working on a car if, I'm, if I have to do it at night. I just throw this on the brim of my hat and I'm good to go. Actually, I put it on backwards that time. It's easier if it's on here like this because then you can do this. But yeah, I've actually used this when I'm working on a car too. Very, very handy little piece of kit. I highly recommend this. So again, this is a Claris HC3 brim headlamp. All right, if you like this one, give it a big old thumbs up. If you don't, keep on trucking. Uh, and if you have anything that you want to ask or add down in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed, do it, it's free!